Hey everybody, Kismet back with another Mega Guide, this time episode 11. And this is round two of combining your buildings together to create maximum belief. Let's get right into it. Now what we left off last time was epic sculpting. We unlocked that through our 40 farms. And now we're ready to go forward. We're always looking for areas to fill in. Remember in the purple areas, you have to have your monasteries for those. And we don't have that unlocked yet, so we're not gonna really worry about it, but we can still shape in the area. Let's not forget to use our bump technique to bump our areas around so we can get our large 50 size farms going. Let's also go over here by this new beacon that we unlocked and beautify it a little bit to keep our people from dying. Fill in these areas that we meteored earlier. Let's set up some houses nearby, and let's shape in some stairs. We'll do some long stairs here to make sure that our people can reach up there. Now, right along this edge, you're gonna see these hard stones. Later on, you have to unlock a card called Comet to move these out of the way, or you can just go around them. Let's not forget to get a bunch of our belief back on Homeworld. Keep on expanding our little high level area here to get even more belief over there, plus getting those gems. Then back to Wayworld, We'll put some more points into these cards. Now it's time to expand our giant mining settlement right here by this new beacon. As we can see, there's some dark area coming up, which means we can add a bunch of mining. And that's going to help us unlock future beacons. Now, just as a reminder, we are in Wayworld here. We're working on our next beacon, which is 7 hours and 30 minutes away. We can put up to 20 people onto this, and then it's going to reduce that time by quite a bit. And let's send a bunch of builders over there to get it started. Make sure to boost them on the way over. And then come back and boost them while they're on the beacon. Now that's more like it. Two hours and 30 minutes. Now back to building, we're going to go ahead and combine more houses into our existing builders. And then send them back out again to build around the same area so we can combine it again later. Let's move to another builder, recombine that one, and rerun them back out again. This particular builder is at 13 workers right now and has 39 minutes until we get another one. But there actually is a trick on how to move your builders from one builder area to the area in which you're working. Stay tuned for that as I show you that later in the video. Let's check our next beacon way out here, which also has some of those hard rocks nearby that we're going to need our comet card for. Also, there's a treasure temple over here. We want to go ahead and make a land bridge so when we do unlock this area, we're able to get this treasure temple. It's really toward the end of the game before you get to that. Now, back to home world. Let's collect a massive bunch of belief. Each one of these houses here are 7,000. Watch as we go from just 100,000 up to around 300,000 plus. And then let's take that and shape up some more in this area we've been working on to maximize our building belief in the long run. You're going to burn up all your belief on home world, but definitely worth the investment. Now, back to way world. We've unlocked our beacon, we've got a bit more expansion, and we're ready to press forward. Now we're going to get out our old friend Meteor, and we're going to aim a little high. Remember not to hit too low, otherwise you'll end up in the water, and it'll cost you a bunch of belief to shape it back in. You can see here in this shot that I'm aiming for about three to five levels up from the sand level. Ah, perfect hit. And then we'll use another Meteor nearby to unlock our way to our beacon. And we'll collect all of this rock belief. And now we have a large area that we can go ahead and shape in and use for our expansion toward the beacon. This is a lot of shaping, but shaping is my favorite part. Now we're also going to get Beautify out to take out all these areas that could potentially kill our peeps. We're going to also use our bump technique to shape in a big area right here and test it to see if it's going to work as one of our large mining areas. Now, if you drag someone out and it says this message, miners will only build mines on rugged land, then that means you're too far out of that circle. Watch what happens to our miner. He'll just refuse to do it and turn right around and go back inside. Now, let's just go ahead and readjust this a little bit more by using our shaping to get further into that dark mining circle. Ah, there we go. And let's go around the area and try to create those 50s, even if you have to go into the deep water. There's a 50. All right, we got another 50 set up. And we're just going to try to make as many 50s in this area as we can. This is a big area. And then let's lock it in by sending our miners out there to lock in each of those sizes so they don't accidentally move. 
If you do go out of the game and come back in, sometimes it does rearrange the way you have them set up. So it's good to lock them in. Plus, just like our other area here in Wayworld, we're going to go ahead and create a bunch of smaller mines around the edges. And now that we got our mining area out of the way, we're going to go ahead and build down toward our beacon area, creating those 50s, combining them into building settlements, and then running them out, binding them, running them out. And this is a technique I use throughout the game to go in and build right next to the beacon. And don't be afraid to get out in that deeper water and add as much space as you can. And if you're in dire need of some wheat, you can go ahead and use your Reign of Purity to speed up your farms. And let's build up our massive builder settlement here. We're going to start with four workers out of 12. Now, a great way to do this is to grab it from another builder and run it into this builder, which is right next to our beacon. As you can see, they are running inside the building and filling it up. Now, once it's full, you see that your builders will no longer go in there and they'll run back in that direction or find something nearby to build. Now, once they're over here where we want them to work, we'll go ahead and run them out. Then we'll grab some more builders and send them over here to help. And then we'll repeat that process. Let's also go in and beautify our farms as well. This will keep all the peeps happy as well as to bring our overall happiness up. Now we've got a bunch of builders out here and they're going to work. Once they're done, recombine again, resend some more builders into the same area, utilizing your other builders that are much further away. All right, now we're looking good. We're up to 18 out of 20. This works for all types of settlements, by the way. You can also use it for your farms and your miners. Now we've got a little lone builder out here and we want him to get all the way up to the max level. So we're going to let him run to the corner and then we're going to shape over him all the way up to the max level. Now don't worry about him. He'll climb his way through all of the different levels until he gets to the top. This also gives you a minute to shape in the rest of this. Oh, there he is. He made it all the way to the top and he's going to hang out nearby as we shape this in. And then once we shape it in, he's going to go to work. And again, we're on homeworld here, shaping in lots of areas to get even more belief over here to expand it even more. And use it all up until you run out, and then we'll go ahead and work on some other stuff. Now we're still working away on this beacon, even though we have as many people as we can on it, it is still two real life days and nine hours here in homeworld. If you wanna know an easy way to check where you're at, you can look up in the upper left hand corner and look at what cards you still have to unlock in that particular area. It'll tell you whether you're in Homeworld or if you're in Wayworld. This currently is Homeworld. And that's it for this round. Next time, we're going to push our way to the next areas, unlock that Comet card, hopefully, and clear this area so we can create another land bridge. Always looking for areas to do farms and mining along the way. If you've got some questions or some goddess tips you'd like to share, I'd love to hear from you right down in the comments down below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Help support more videos just like this one and keep the Kismet love train a-going by dropping by my Patreon and showing your support. Big thanks going out to Resident Spike, Rotisserie G, JC Hunter, AMZ, Carlos, Jeremiah, The Notorious TDK, and Scriplin. Click to watch more videos and I'll see you next time.